Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we're breaking down players. We're having me break down some video, some instruction that you guys send in, some videos of your kids' swings, or your own swings for that matter. Um, and I kind of help out and break them down. Um, enjoy doing it. Love, love talking baseball. Uh, this is my way to just kind of get my thoughts and ideas out there. Love the, the feedback. If you guys have questions, you can reach out directly to me on um, Twitter or Instagram, however you want to get a hold of me. But this is essentially how I teach baseball to kids in the, in the winter. I just kind of throw ideas out there and talk and, and see what sticks, basically, and, and really try and message the idea that kids have to teach themselves how to play the game. Kids have to teach themselves how to work and how to learn, and this is how you do it. It's listening to people that have been there and done that. And it's going on YouTube for that matter and figuring things out. Um, and that's kind of kind of the idea with this channel. So just putting some content out there to help out players all over the place. So uh, today we're going to be highlighting a player. One of the this guy is the best hitter I've ever worked with. Uh, this is the best pure hitter I've ever worked with. His name is Remy Sweet. He is a senior at Union Grove High School. He is headed to Bryant Stratton Junior College next season. And this is a player you're going to want to keep your eye on because this kid can hit again, best pure hitter I've ever worked with. The swing is just so pure. Um, some of the quickest hands I've ever seen, uh, quite frankly, the quickest hands I have seen from a 17, 18 year old kid. Um, and he's only going to continue to improve. Um, <clears throat> great kid, very smart kid. Um, this, this is a player that's got a very bright future in the game. Uh, again, going to a junior college next year, Bryant Stratton Community College in Racine, and he's going to get a ton of ton more baseball, ton more games. But uh, this is this is one of the best players in the area that nobody really knows about, right? Because he hasn't uh, necessarily been part of the bigger programs. But uh, I, before we get into his video and breaking th breaking things down for Remy, I did want to mention that um, this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate. My wife does an excellent job with all of her clients. Uh, if you are in the market to buy or sell a home, make sure you're reaching out to my wife, Maggie Rotino. Also, she is joined up with her little brother, Ricky Kuiper, who is um, on her team now. And he does also does a phenomenal job. Those two are going to absolutely kill it. Maggie and Ricky are the name for real estate in southeastern Wisconsin. So make sure you're hitting them up on social media or hit me up on social media if you are in the market to buy or sell. Also wanted to let you know that this channel is brought to you by Lockdown Brewers podcast. We, Dom Catronio and I are broadcasting and breaking things down for the Milwaukee Brewers three days a week during this lockout. We are going to be doing it five days a week during the, when the lockout is over during the regular season and in spring training once the regular or once the lockout is over. So let's go ahead and get into Remy's swing. Uh, first of all, I did want to just kind of show a game swing. And I'm going to show this game swing right here of Remy. Let's back this up. Let's go ahead and get that volume down. Um, so this is Remy in a game. Um, he obviously drives the ball to all fields. These are uh, extremely quick hands. He has uh, the ability to, he's got a tremendous athleticism too, right? So, I mean, just watching him out of the box. But watch how quick these hands are, and we're going to look at the swing eventually here. But um, the kid can run. He can play center field. Um, like I said, it's just a, a whole lot of talent to go along with the skill that he possesses. So um, he is going to be a fun one to follow, and I've been fortunate enough to work with him for a long time now, ever since he was in eighth grade. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Remy's swing mechanics and I am going to get some flack here probably for comparing him to a hall of famer, but Albert Pujols first ball hall of famer, obviously. But the idea here is that Remy does a lot of the same things that, um, that Albert does like mechanically sound right. And, and the reason why I am comparing Remy to Pujols and Pujols's move is because they both use their base better than I've ever seen anyone use their base. I'm telling you this swing from Remy is the best swing that I have ever seen from a player that I've worked with. I've worked with players for the last 20 years. 
It's a super, super athletic move. It's a super mechanically sound move. And again, it starts with his base. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it from the side. Uh, this is just up at our hitting center. I mean, it is, it's quick. It, this is a nice and easy stroke right here from him on the bottom, but is, but the, the lower half is really what I want to highlight here. And again, we're going to be breaking it down and comparing it to pool. So, right. So like that little move right there is what Remy does so well. And obviously Remy's move is a little bit bigger than Albert Pujols' move, but Pujols was just kind of like a pick up that heel and put it back down. But if you notice what Pujols is doing when he picks that heel up, that back inner part of his back heel, I'm sorry, the inner part of his back heel is being loaded. And once that is loaded, he maintains that pressure into that back heel as that right hip travels a little bit towards the pitcher. Um, it sounds more complicated than it is, but I've been able to help a lot of kids with this same idea. It's loading into that back hip, that back inner part of that back heel. Um, and then once it's loaded, it's allowing that back hip, again, the back right hip for right hand hitter, allowing that, to, that move to come back towards the pitcher, back towards center. And Remy does this better than anyone I've, ever worked with i'm telling you so he's loading it back see that little move right there it's actually pretty pronounced with remy i'm gonna back that up more than more than pools right so boom he's back there now look at that little inward tuck right there and now that back heel is loaded that back hip then will just simply travel back towards center and then he'll get foot plant okay and he does a great job of staying loaded and then what he also does a great job of, so you can see all the pressure is still on the backside. So now he can explode on the ball, depending where it is inside, outside. And he's got the, the God given ability, the hand quickness to get to pitches. I mean, I throw him, sometimes I try and juice it up a little bit and then throw him pitches off inside part of that white line on the uh, batter's box there. And he is able to get to those pitches and keep them fair. So this is a, just a tremendous hitting position that Remy is, hitting from right here. So, um, so same thing from Pujols right here. Um, obviously the, the thing that they both do really well is they see, they get into that front heel now. So it transfers from that back inner part of the back heel to the inner part of the front heel. It's a very subtle move and you'll see both these guys scissor their back foot is going to come up and towards the third base dugout a little bit Remy again is a little bit more pronounced than Albert let's see how that back foot on both these guys because that's the transfer of the weight into that front heel okay and look at these hands and the elbow slotted perfectly super short stroke into the hitting zone and that's all a product of just what that upper body I'm sorry the lower body is doing but look at that scissor move from Boole see how that this is a product of how well he uses the ground from the back inside part of the back heel to, to the inside part of the front heel, not necessarily inside part, but just to the front heel, whether that's called leverage and hitting against that front side. So look at that back foot coming up off the ground a little bit. Again, don't, ch I wouldn't chase that move. It's a product of what's happening so well in the lower half. And then just tremendous ability to stay through the baseball both these guys obviously pool it's a hall of famer um but similar finishes as well but i did want to just compare remy to pools because the base the swing the lower half base is just so good it's so fundamentally sound and this point for remy he has made this his muscle memories made this his swing that it's just going to translate just to a ton of production it's going to translate to a ton of power it's going to translate to a bunch of hits all over the ballpark um, and he's just tapping into his, his ability. He reminds me a lot of a guy that the Texas Rangers drafted in 2020, I think in the fourth or the fifth round, his name is Thomas Segesi. Take a look at Thomas Segesi's swing. Um, if there uh, is an opportunity, I think there's the Texas Rangers player development has a Twitter page. Take a look. It's a very similar move, very similar skill set for me. They're both uh, twitchy athletes um, and just with tremendous hand speed. 
Okay. And again, Sagacy is a guy that has a similar move with that lower body as well. So, um, <laughs> you know, Remy is a player that nobody's, I mean, when I say nobody's heard of him, he's not on the, on the national circuits on all these, um, you know, travel ball teams. He is on a travel ball team. He does play for PBA Kenosha who Josh Cologne does a phenomenal job with that program. I'm just saying like, if he were to be part of a bigger program, he would be known in my opinion, as one of the top players in the state, along with TJ Williams, who I broke down yesterday. So uh, Remy, Remy Sweet, player you're going to want to keep your eye on. He's going to uh, Bryant Stratton College, community college in Racine. Um, he has got a very, very bright future. Tremendous kid, tremendous athlete, and uh, just uh, he's got everything going for him. So uh, keep your eye on him. I know I will be, and thanks for tuning in.